This credit card got stolen. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the show. It's Beaker's Lab. The gang is back. You guys know what it is. Uh, and hey man, I'm your host Beaker. We got Melly and Pie up there. By the way, Melly, just looking like a straight up king. But recently guys, this base, it's Max. Essentially, we got a couple of walls left on Max, obviously, but otherwise, the good stuff, the offense, the heroes, it's been maxed. It's maxed for so long that I have forgotten the value of it. Like, I don't even know what the value of a Max Queen is. Guys, what's, what's our girl's net worth? Because net worth is calculated by, like, how much money you got in your pocket, yeah, but also how much you own, and she owns 80 levels of herself, and I don't even know what those are worth. And you you can't even calculate the time. Well, you can, actually, and we're about to. But how much is that worth? Guys, if you needed a queen right now, max, and she was level one, how much would that cost? I've done this before. We've done this before in videos. But there's a thing on the Clash Wiki. The Clash Wiki is so good. Like, please, round of applause real quick for everybody who does the Clash Wiki, because I don't even know who they are, but I love them. I go on there all the time. Okay, my favorite thing on the Clash Wiki is right here. It's called cumulative cost. I never use the word cumulative. Wow, I didn't just say it right. Cumulative. Cool word. I'll give it that. It's cool word. Uh, yo, that game, The Quarry, that looks cool. It's like a horror movie in a game. I should, I should get that. That'd be so fun to play in a video, dude. Like, get my wife. Like, maybe if it's multiplayer, she could... She would hate that. Okay, okay. Focus, Peek. Focus. So look, bro. oh my god, they got clan capital up there now. Okay, I, again, I can't get distracted right now. Now, we can see this dark elixir cost on its own and be like, okay, that sounds like a lot. Then we got to convert it into gems, guys. And then we got to get the time involved. All that has to be added together. Place your bets now. You know what I'm going to say? Um, let me get a let me get a marker. How much you guys think a max arch queen costs? I'm going to say $4,200. Is that high? Is that too high? <laughs> let's let's put it on the board. All right, Melly, what do you think? Uh, I, I think that was a three grand he just said. Okay. And uh, Paya, I'm going to assume she's going to say four. So we'll, we'll just remember that one. It's right below mine. Okay, but you can't even see it right there. What you do, you go over to the right here and you can see... Dude, I knew it. The middle one, that's the queen. She is just barely... The most expensive hero in the game. The most overpriced expensive hero in the game. It's wild. I love it. I love it. Now, let me write that down. 11 million. Now, obviously, we know the real killer in Clash is the time, dude. The time. Like, I will farm 11 million Dark Elixir, but I can't farm time. Like, I don't have to. I only got time. One amount of time. Time is linear. You know what I'm saying. So, guys, if you go over to... Builder time, let's see where it is for the heroes. It's basically like seven days for each level, right? It averages about out to about that. Wow, you can get almost 16,000 gems from just from achievements. All right, guys, so there's the art screen right there. Let's go over to the right. I think it said, yeah, 388 days and 22 hours. Okay, so there was a calculator up at the top here, guys. And I don't honestly know, like, what's going to be more? 11 million Dark Elixir or 388 days? What costs more? I have no idea. I'm going to say the Dark Elixir because that stuff is really expensive. But 388 days is more than a year. I mean, you guys know that, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm not breaking any news. That's not a spoiler. Buying Dark Elixir, with, Dark Elixir with gems. So gems to Dark Elixir or Dark Elixir to gems. That's what we want right there. One, five, five, zero, zero, zero. I'm nervous. I'm legitimately nervous. So this is the amount of gems you would need to get 11 million Dark Elixir. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. But is that going to be more than the time? Because remember, the time is 388 days and 22 hours. We can round up or we can round down to just 389. Let's do 389, I guess. Gems to time or time to gem. We'll do time to gems. Yeah, that's what, it, what am I saying? Okay. Three. Why is it doing that? Hang on. 388 days. And 22 hours. Dude, you can go down to the seconds. Wild. Wild. All right. You guys ready? Remember, the first one was, you can see it right there, 308,000 gems. Oh, 
$100 is 14,000 gems. Remember that. So we got to divide it to, to see how much this is. But oh my God, we can do it right there. There's a calculator for this. Okay, hang on. I had no idea. Wow. The time is the cheap part. I would, I mean, I guess I knew that, but not that much. Okay, 48,103. It's like 400 bucks. Oh, uh, I guess we should just do it. I guess we should just do it, guys. The thing is, you got gold, not gold runes. You got dark runes. You got the gold pass if you get that. Like, there is ways around this to make it so much cheaper. And then straight up farming for the loot. The time, no, you can't really get around that. But, you know. But this, if we're talking about the value of her, because you got to put a value on her. You guys want to find it out? Three, five, six, two, four, seven. Just off the top of my head, I'm going to say this is... You know what? It might only be 2,000. Only. Only. You ready? You know? <laughs> is there any world, like any planet, that a max Arch Queen is worth that? And don't forget, like, there's only one of your heroes. Guys, let me write that down. In fact, just tattoo that number in your brain because we are about to go out and do some raids with this Max Queen, which we've had for ages, and I feel like we've really lost what her worth is, right? Wait, where's my paper? What? How did I lose a piece of paper that was connected to a... Oh, there it is. I got it, guys. Don't worry, don't worry. Okay, so the Queen is the most expensive one, but if you take that in mind, all the heroes are probably, what, nine grand? Just to get Max Heroes? Max Heroes is the best thing in the game. If you're gonna go wild and, you know, buy Dark Runes and Elixir Runes and Books of Heroes, the heroes are the ones that are technically worth it. Walls are not. Defenses are not. The heroes are. But anyway, guys, we gotta, we gotta see this. Focus, Beak. Focus. Okay. <laughs> guys, I was gonna make a big sign and just, like, put it right next to us, and then I thought about it. I'm actually gonna be able to see that. When I'm looking, when I'm doing a raid, I'm looking at the monitor in front of me, I can see that. It's right above the bunnies where I'm checking them out. They're just so chill today. Guys, by the way, it's probably because they didn't sleep at all last night. There was a fire alarm going off my house. There's something wrong with it. There was no fire. There was no carbon monoxide. There was no fire. But the fire alarm kept going off and the bunnies would just flip out. And I know because that camera's always on. And so I got the recording of them being like, ah, I felt so bad for them, dude. I felt so bad because they probably think it's like a hawk coming to get them, you know? Not exactly what I was looking for. Because <laughs> I kind of wanted to find a, a really good base. Although, th this is not bad, by any means. Any base that has scatter shots and expos that are reasonably high level, like, good luck. So in here, I have a siege, and it has healers inside. So we're going to do, like, a late game queen walk. Let let's do it up. Let's do it up. Good luck, guys. Good luck. Hey, by the way, you can't really calculate this into the Arch Queen's net worth, but look, we have my original iPad here. I used to play Clash like eight hours a day on this thing. It's so bad. It's an iPad mini from 2012. I have gone through like, I think four iPads while maxing this queen. So, you know, that's not really part of her net worth, but it doesn't hurt either. Such a dirty setup for a queen walk. Like that is not how this is supposed to work. Oh, I should have had the other hat, uh, pet. I should, pet? I should have had the healer pet. Whatever, dude. So guys, over here, we'll do the same thing, but with the king and maybe even the champion so we can take out some of this stuff. But really, queen, you're the main event here. Hey, Warden, where are you going? Where are you going? Okay, Queen is still in the middle. We have a heal spell we could drop on her, but that's not really going to do anything. I think I might just drop a heal poison. Oh, now we're talking. Now we're talking. No, no, no. Queen, don't go down. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, I'll just double heal right there. <laughs> Guys... I remember when I first looked up the cumulative costs of, of Clash, it was at like Tunnel 10, right? And to max everything, it was like five, six, seven grand or something, which which seemed absurd at the time. Absurd. Now, the Archer Queen, all the heroes really, everything in the game, for the most part, has gotten cheaper over the years, except for time. Time never gets cheaper, but you know what I mean? I can't believe that only one thing in the game is worth $2,500 if you were to get it immediately. And there's really no other way to value it. You can say, 
that she's worth 11 million dark elixir that's that's a value and that's the you know that's the bulk of it that's worth 300,000 gems i've never even had 300,000 gems like why would i now i guess the thing is if you had the gold pass and you did that you would get 20% less on everything so it would be well worth it to just get the gold pass $5 would burn uh it would save you a lot like 500 Five dollars would save you like five hundred dollars. This credit card got stolen. Okay, so I feel like you guys probably just heard like a record stop sound or like the screen. What's that like rainbow? Uh, I have no idea what I'm talking about. You know when a, when a TV signal stops, there's like a rainbow thing on the screen? Look, no matter what you just saw, guys, I just walked out of the room because during the video, when we're trying to figure out like how overpriced, ridiculously expensive the queen is, all my credit cards got stolen. That's all good, guys. I'll tell you the story tomorrow. It is more bizarre than I could have ever thought possible. Like, I didn't think you could do it to this extent. I didn't think you could steal somebody's credit cards, all of them, and start using them in such a brazen way so immediately. But look, we'll tell you guys that story tomorrow, to the best of my knowledge. Because, um, honestly, I don't know the answers to a lot of this stuff. I kept asking the people at the credit card companies, like, uh, yeah, how, how, how is this possible? And they would tell me, and I'd still be like, nah. Nah, that didn't sound right. <laughs> anyway, keep that queen in your heart. Upgrade your queen out there. If she's not max, don't spend $2,000 on her, please. But upgrade her. She deserves that. And if there's anything in the game that's going to make it more fun, it's the queen. Doesn't mean she's worth two grand, but at the same time, she's fun. Cool. Anyway, we love you guys. We'll see you right here tomorrow on the one and only Beaker's Lab. We're going to tell you guys a story. Dude, I can't even think straight. Like, this is stressing me out. Cool. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.